Hey everyone, I've got another exciting Easy Promos game for you called Hidden Objects. Now, just showing you exactly what it looks like, I'm going to go around and find all the cookies that are hidden in this Christmas graphic. I've got one more to get. Question is, where is it? I need to get this. Ah, there. All right. So you might think that a campaign like this takes a lot to create, a lot of resources. No, not at all. Let me show you how to build this exact campaign within minutes. Inside your Easy Promos dashboard, click on Create a New Promotion. Then click on Hidden Objects and select your organizing brand. Now you have a dashboard where you can change some presets. Click into Editor. And here, there is an actual game already loaded, but we're going to change these to our own settings. So I'm just going to replace this logo image and save that. In your campaign, you'll change the text in these boxes. It does accept HTML. Now we're going to click down to Hidden Objects and replace this image. Let's put in this one. There we go. And of course, we need to change, you know, we're going to make this... Uh, Fine, it's not three, there's probably about five or six items in here. So let's just put the five cookies and we can delete that cookie and we can add or the key and we can add in. We've got one right here, a cookie. Now we're going to identify the objects in our graphic that will be clickable in the front end of this campaign. So let's remove these existing presets, which were really for the original default picture. And we're going to create our, our area here. So it just gives you some reading to do here so you understand it. I'm just going to click on Understood. Now we're inside the picture, and we're going to go around to the cookies. And here's one here. So we're going to click up here. And then we're just going to make a box around it with four clicks, OK? So now we basically repeat this wherever we have our cookies. So here's another one doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Oh, wait, that one's far from perfect. So let's do that again. There. And I know we've got one in the logo here. We can incorporate that. There we go. So now we give that a save. And we can choose to show these at the bottom. We're going to change the name of those. I'm just going to change the name of one so you get the idea. So this is like cookie one. So people will know that there's uh, five objects there for them to find. Now we go to game settings. This is how you affect the change uh, to that. If you don't want to show that area, if you want to give them the, the clue as to how many there are, then you keep that there. And you can test your game. And this graphic that we've loaded up in here, Basically, you, you have your design team create something like this in a 800 by 800 JPEG and just upload it. It's that simple. So we'll just, just check in this out to see if it's working, and it is working. Perfect. Okay, so then we'll complete the rest of the pages. We've got the um, entry form here. It does have a logo on it, so we'll, we'll, we'll change that logo out as well. Get that a save. Change out this logo. Give that a save. There is a ranking page, and I'll show you. We'll enter a few times so you can see what that ranking page looks like. You would create your prizes. We're not going to do that in this particular campaign. Uh, you would just create a prize on the random draw. And then we want to change our date. Let's make that live for today so we can test it. That saves automatically. And then we'll go to the design because I think our background is the default one instead of the one that we did up. So let's go and grab our background. There we go. Give that a save. And then look at colors. So the colors with this background are a little off, so we're going to make that text white so it'll appear. Wonderful. And the box here, we can get away with that color of uh, boxes for um, starting the challenge, but I think let's do something a little different, maybe something like that. 
There, I could play with that color and make it look better. How about we darken it up a little bit? They're still not perfect, but uh, for this purpose, it shows you how you can affect change there. So let's save that. And now, you know what? We're ready. Let's go and activate this and enter it. So we exit the editor. We activate the promotion. We go to the link here, which is mobile friendly. Wait for that background to load. Boom. There we go. And then start the challenge. Then you complete the entry form and submit, and that takes you to the thank you page. Now, we want to get in one more uh, entry before we do the ranking, so I'm going to do that and come back to the ranking page. Okay, so we've completed our second entry, and let's click on the ranking. And there you have it. You can see the two entries uh, and their point scores. Isn't that great? So look, if you're looking to do a campaign that is a game and engaging and keeps people focused on your brand for a long period of time, this is the kind of thing that you would benefit from. Inside your dashboard, create a draft campaign. Let us know if you have any questions and have a lot of fun with this. Thanks for watching.